How you doing, my people? Welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Slink. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Of course, you saw the title of this video. We're going to discuss about our beloved president and his family. That is uh, the president, uh, Bola Abed Tunubu. And also, we're going to talk about uh, Asari Dukumbo and also the Nigeria Army as well. You know, I don't know how you guys are managing this economy. And you guys know, for those of you, maybe I know they watch me for a long time now, you know how much I supported the Tunubu. During the election was Peter Obi. Then after the election, and after they swore in, I said, okay, now since they just swear, swear Tunubu in, and even after the whole court issue between himself and Peter Obi, that was when I started being like, okay, you know what? Tunubu is our president, so we have to give him all the support. Because if we do not give him all the support, the country will not move forward. So that was when I started supporting Tunubu. And I said, I agree with some of his policy. And in fact, I still agree with some of his policy. But in, an, in a country that is so corrupt, there's no amount of policy me you go put for granted, make, make go work. There's no amount of policies. And again, I agree with his policy. His policy is bringing more money to the government pocket. But the way they are disbursing the money is the same old ways. Other regime has disbursed money. And that money comes back to some few individual pockets. All those who are not agree with all those who are. Why? Yeah, two people get very nice policies. But then again, there is no clear agenda. There is no, no human feelings. To make Nigeria better. No love for Nigeria. To some of all those people who are meant to implement this. Because federal government has in a way increased their revenue. Times 10. Their revenue have increased. They are no longer subsidizing most of the things for us. Most especially for it. But where the money they enter? That is the problem. Where the money they enter? According to our beloved first lady, that is uh, Remy Tunubu said, people are not seeing what God is doing in the land. Nations across the globe want to do business with us. We know that subsidy has been removed, but with God on our side, in the next two years, Nigeria will be greater than this. <laughs> Ah, see that here. Next two years, for those of you who are hoping, <laughs> say one month coming, one month coming, say things go better. <laughs> the projection from uh, Remy Tunubu, our beloved uh, first lady, she said next two years. She also said, my husband Tunubu, your president, not cause of hardship in Nigeria. My husband is not the cause of hardship in Nigeria. Nigeria economy would witness improvement in the next two years of President Bola Ahmed's administration. Two years! We are going to walk through the wilderness. So for those of you that want to cry, <laughs> You will never see anything yet. <laughs> you will cry river. So, oh, you're just, 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 just hold oh yourself, eh? Hold oh yourself. Don't, don't cry yet. Because the worst is yet to come. Two years before we start hearing the good stuff. And meanwhile, you know, it's not Nigeria with the Portacot refinery for the past 15 years. They don't they say go open this month, you go open next year, you go open the next two years, you go open this month, you know, but still open till now. <laughs> so I'm not projecting that we are going to suffer forever. Me, I don't want to suffer. I don't tire to suffer. I don't, I don't tire to suffer. I don't tire. See, the policies of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu are excellent, nice policies. But the money made they save, where did they go? Where the money they go? 
somebody say bag of rice. Yeah, so they announced yesterday, there was an announcement yesterday concerning the rice issue. They say uh, federal government have started uh, from uh, Nigeria stories. They say breaking news, federal government of Nigeria begins sales of 50 kg rice at 40,000 naira to Nigerians. Yesterday, before I don't increase, they don't sell again. And meanwhile, how many of you don't also don't get them, apart from uh, civil servants? Apart from civil servants, how many of you guys? Even though civil servants say, will see they witch their own civil servants. Let us be patient with uh, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. What else can I say? What else? What else can I say? But just know the, 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 the worst is yet to come. NAPC for the first time, which I really kind of like, like oh, they are not consign with foil again. If that is genuinely true, you know, see those people, not be Nigerian home. We, we just need somebody to be truthful. Me, I support NAPC not being involved in sales of foil. But now they say they are no day. But if you check on a corner, 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 they are hand day. Okay. Let's go to Asari Dukumbo versus Nigeria Army. I'm, 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 I'm even ashamed to say Asari Dokobo versus Nigeria Army. Nigeria Army addressed Asari Dokobo recently after he made the threat that he has the capacity to break down an army a helicopter that was hovering around his house. Nigeria Army to say, ah, the guy no get any capacity to bring down a helicopter. I was expecting Nigeria Army to immediately send or in collaboration with the police DSS to immediately send SWAT team to go check, to reconfirm what that guy is saying. Person made the national... See, you see this country, people pass people. You that thinks that uh, all Nigerians are equal, you are dumb to think you are equal to anybody. You are not equal to anybody. There are stages. Somebody make threat to say he can bring down an army helicopter. Nigeria is still alive, you don't get the capacity. Just like that. Just being in US now, just imagine. I'm not talking say with the, with the compared to US. Oh. Just say for US and you make a threat online. I give you at most 24 hours. Eh? If you see the SWAT teams with, uh, with so much equipment eh? like uh, diffusers, trucks, Everywhere around your house, eh? just because of a simple threat you make online, you made online. This man made a threat that went public, that that trend. But then again, nothing happened. Our people. Our people. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. As we are talking. With the video, I'm not going to the video. As I said, with the video, that's a real damn thing. Weakest soldiers, weakest police, whoever, had been flying over my house, my house and my compound in the last 30 minutes with two helicopter gun chips. I have the capacity to contain them. Nigeria cannot surrender to Wiki. Rivers people will not surrender to Wiki. Ijo people will not surrender to Wiki. I have the capacity to contain them. And the government knows that I have the capacity to contain them as I've been contain containing other people. Let them tell Wiki to back off. I am 60 years old. I've never been afraid of death. I've always embraced death. i would always embraced death. So I am not afraid of death.
So all those who are there, when the helicopter is shot down, let nobody blame them. I didn't go and look for the helicopter to shoot them down. I will shoot down the helicopter. I will shoot down the helicopter. I swear by Allah that I will shoot down the helicopter. Whoever is commanding them should be warned that I will shoot the helicopter down. Enough is enough. That Tinibu will hand over River State into slavery. The wiki. Wiki is nobody. Without this one, I've laid out of it. It's nobody. Wiki is nobody. Let them remove this thing from him now. I think he has billions. He knows the market. He has bought guns for his men. Let them remove this thing from him. And let us see. Go and vote. I will go and vote. I will vote. And you see me vote. Nothing will happen. We vote. Result will be announced. Chairman will be sworn in. And we'll see. The importance of momentum in warfare. We must sustain the momentum. And it is for this reason we take the fight to the terrorists. I have the capacity to contain them. Recent comments by former Niger Delta agitator Asari Dokuba, who threatened to bring down a military helicopter allegedly hovering over his premises during the local government election in River State, also caught the attention of the military. He doesn't have that capability. He's just blabbing. But I will allow the security forces that are responsible for handling such cases to take up the matter. Ours is come on the battlefield and we take you out. You should come on the battlefield. Well, uh, that is the response from Nigeria Army. He said they cannot get involved now because between them, they are on a battlefield for the meet. So they cannot just go and take up an arrest. That, uh, the there are other security agencies for that that will do that. So let's see how they are going to do it. But we know say nothing will happen. If anything happen, I will be surprised. Oh. But if anything no happen, ah, we don't really know say nothing will happen. But then again, now this issue of uh, wiki, river state, matter, that they cause all those kind of issues are allowed. But this man, remember this man tell us, say, if Tinubu no perform, make me who I'm responsible. <laughs> ah, God, this country. You know, me, I don't talk past my mouth. <laughs> you know, this is an issue for for the army and the big men them. Have a nice day guys. Bye.